Lesotho's mountains form southern Africa's most important watershed. Entirely surrounded by South Africa, Lesotho's high elevation peaks foster a wide diversity of plant life. Drenched in rain during the summer months, the Alpine Kingdom has been a fertile homeland for the Basutu people who have lived and farmed here for generations. Food production is a main occupation in the valleys and slopes of the highlands. Despite the challenges brought by HIV AIDS, customs of Letsema, or working together, continue to form the backbone of community resilience. At the heart of the Pitsing Highlands lies the Pedisanong project. Pedisanong, whose name translates as Together We Work for Life, is a center that was founded in 2001. The project shelters 80 children with special needs. Some are physically challenged, some are mentally challenged, and some have chronic illnesses. Like kids the world over, the children of Pedisanong are relentless in their pursuit of fun. Children who come from disadvantaged backgrounds are learning that they are loved, valued, and most of all, hold a place of importance to the future of their communities. They play, laugh, cry, and delight in the love they share with their caregivers. The disabled children are integrated into the adjacent primary school a school which aims to nurture talent and meet each child where she is, whether it is learning to button a shirt or reciting poetry of their own composition. Many children graduate from Pedisanong and go on to vocational training or higher education, following the center's goal of shaping leaders of tomorrow. Mamelo Mokholokwe is the founder of Pedisanong and its current director. The organization has a constitution upheld by its committee. The democratic structures that govern the organization are key to its success in developing programs that are impactful and make effective use of funds. Commitment of the staff stems from Mamelo's own dedication to help each and every person in her care and in her sphere to reach their full potential. After only 10 years, Pedisanong has taken off. The place has blossomed from a home for disabled into a full-fledged community centre, with support drawn from inside and outside of the country. Those who were once the neediest are now the providers, demonstrating that simple ideas can have simply amazing effects. Grounded in the commitments, vision and hard work of the community, Pedisanong's success is also due to the contributions made by local and international donors. International donors have contributed much towards the infrastructure, staff and operating costs of the centre. Pedisanong is dedicated to replacing its dependency on these donors through the cultivation of enterprises based on developing local resources and skills. Children at Pedisanong have demonstrated again and again how people who come from behind can become leaders in their communities. Not only are the children strong because they themselves have triumphed over adversity, but from the culture they have absorbed at Pedisanong, they have the exceptional ability to empathize with the underprivileged and recognize the potential and worth of each person. We have picked one house to be larger than other houses. So this house is large and it has enough space for the children with uh, more uh, difficulty. Like this children who are staying in this room, there's, most of them are both HIV and disabled. Most of them are both mentally and physically. So they are kind of children who are too special in this center. They need uh, many caretakers. That's why we chose this house to be the suitable house for such children. All of these programs can grow with investments from individuals, organizations and businesses. Visit the website to find out how to become involved in building housing for disabled children, expanding the services and reach of the health clinic, sponsoring scholarships for needy and deserving youth, or building orchards towards long-term food security. 
local businesses have provided support for Padisanong, including Avis Fleet Services, who built a kitchen, and Nedbank, who provided chickens. The centre also received funding to buy and operate a grinding mill to generate income, while Lesotho's Ministry of Social Welfare has invested in livestock for the project to produce meat, milk and wool. On World AIDS Day, Padisanong's nurses, teachers, caregivers, and support group leaders lead a parade through town. The parade, and the energy it draws, is a good metaphor for the self-empowerment concept at the heart of Padisanong's work. The centre relies on the free access to medicines offered in Lesotho's public health system and works to bolster that system by strengthening community support networks. These are the warriors local HIV educators who perform the outreach work of Padisanong. The warriors make home visits, lead workshops, carry out HIV testing, and help patients to access and adhere to medications. Each year on December 1st, they invite everyone whose lives are touched by HIV to come out and celebrate the accomplishments of the year, with every man and woman standing as a testament to the life-saving work carried out at Padisanong. Many people visit the project from near and far. Most are impressed with how smoothly the place functions. Visitors to the project witness and carry away a glimpse into genuine grassroots solidarity. There's a lot of satisfaction in seeing a real-life example of an uncommonly African story, one where the concept of Ubuntu, I am because we are, is alive and kicking. People who come from afar learn a great deal from Padisanong, pitching in to help, but more importantly, seeing how a community can develop from the inside out based on an insistence on setting its own priorities and nurture of its own unique powers. <laughs> Peri Sanong's latest sponsors are Chinese celebrities and philanthropists Jackie Chan and Daniel Wu. This has led to a kung fu craze at the center. Jackie Chan is very popular in Lesotho and his involvement is another inspiration for children who are being encouraged to reach for the stars. Hi Jackie. I'm like your biggest fan ever and I know you probably get stuff like that but really, it's ridiculous. Like, Four by four powered wheelchair. <laughs> is that your dream? Your four by four powered wheelchair? I have others, but this one is the immediate one. Oh. All right. And that's basically it. Okay. Keep making those cool movies. Oh. Bye. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. I don't think you nailed it. You knew I was going to do that. You nailed it. That was amazing. Are you sure? Because I'm going to I'm going to see Jackie before the end of the month. I'm going to show him. That was video. pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> In 2012, Padisanong secured grants from the UNDP's Global Environment Facility and Welsh group Dolan Cymru. With the funding, they are building orchards in two communities, with the aim being to build orchards in each of the 14 villages in which they work. Local volunteers are learning about worm bin composting, beekeeping and honey production, organic fertilization, grafting, and soil and water management techniques to provide greater resilience. Though aimed at producing surplus for sale, Pedisanong's farming projects go beyond income generation. Working together as a community, sharing skills and knowledge, and putting what is learned about beekeeping, orchard management, and agroforestry into practice 
is establishing a foundation of food security for Pedicinon that will allow the communities it serves to face new challenges brought about by a changing climate. Please visit www.pedicinon.com to find out more. So what do we have now is uh, the gardens which are full of trees plus the, fruits, uh, plus the plants down the trees. So what do we do now is plant a lot of food plus the trees. So this is how we are able to feed our children. <laughs>